Well, hello there, friends. How many times have you found yourself at the grocery store, looking around or standing in front of your fridge with the door open, wondering what you were going to prepare for dinner? Well, in the next few minutes, my friends, I will teach you a system where you will never again wonder what to cook. The simple technique is used by professional chefs all over the world. They all know it. They all use it. And you should too. A professional chef cannot be wondering what to cook on a Monday morning for the entire week. He has to plan. He has to order. He has to shop accordingly and get organized. Doesn't matter if you're cooking for 500 people a day or family of four. You still can apply the same technique with great success. First thing first, you have to pick a day where you spend a few minutes planning the menu for the week. Sunday works for me. Pick whatever day works for you. Get the family involved. Everybody should choose the menu, help you choose the menu. And especially the day they're going to become your sous chef. You'll need to print every recipe you'll need to prepare for the week. If you do not have a printed recipe, make a list of all the ingredients you'll need for that dish. Do not forget to plan on using leftover when planning the menu. For example, if one day you're having roasted chicken, you may want to plan the next day to do a nice chicken salad, have some extra chicken that you want to save. As you read each recipe from top to bottom, prepare at least two shopping lists. One for dry goods like rice and flour and pantry item, and the other one for fresh ingredients like produce, meat, fish, perishable. Make the list based on the store you will be shopping. For instance, if you do not buy your fish or your meat at the supermarket, like some people don't, make sure you make a note, fishmonger on Tuesday. Meat, meat uh, store on Wednesday. Also, do not forget to defrost in advance. Have your shopping days on your schedule. It's very important. Early morning is usually works the best. Especially for grocery store, I find. If you have it on the schedule, you know, every Monday morning or every Sunday night or whatever it is you want, you want to try to avoid the grocery store actually at night because they got nothing left. The day you're cooking, get your sanitized water ready as the first thing you should do, friends. I have it in my kitchen every day. As a matter of fact, I never cook without. That's the first thing I do when I get into the kitchen. I get my sanitized water, especially if I'm going to do a lot of protein. I'm just doing vegetables and all, maybe just a little soapy water. But I'm going to do some uh, protein. I put a little bit of uh, 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 white vinegar, like one gallon of water for three tablespoons of vinegar, or a little bit of bleach. No, not both of them. Not bleach and vinegar, just all vinegar or bleach. And the bleach, I just put one tablespoon of bleach. It hardly smells better, more than my pool water. Read the recipe from top to bottom. It's very important, friends. Everybody tells you that. But read the recipe from top to bottom. I receive co comment all the time. Somebody said, you didn't tell us to cook the broccoli on a stir fry. It says pre-cooked broccoli. So it's important you pay attention to what we read. And also you may want to prepare the rice then go with that dish, the potatoes, the vegetables, whatever it is. So it's important you read everything in a, before you start. Now the most important, it's funny, matter of fact, I was reading a comment the other day for me, Richard. Richard said, I, you taught us so many things, but one thing that you taught me then is non-negotiable is mise en place. Friends, mise en place. The secret though, friends, mise en place. Mise en place. Very important. Put in place. Not really means put in place. It means mise en place translate uh, put in place. But it really means chop and dice everything in little bowls, ready to go. So when you need, when you start cooking, you can have fun with your glass of wine because everything is chopped and diced, the kitchen is clean, and you're starting to cook. I promise you, friends, if you're disciplined about your mise en place, you'll never start cooking without making it. Okay? So it's very important. Mise en place. Also, when ready to start chopping and dicing, check the recipe for the next day and the next day. Because if you're having onion or, or celery or carrots, those could be chopped the same day. Put them in a little glass bowl. They stay in the fridge perfectly comfortably for two days. Okay? Most important, friends, clean as you go. 
After you finish with one ingredient, clean up the board, clean up the table. Don't start with a new ingredient with a mess already on your board. I can tell a professional cook if it's good or not, or it's organized or not, or clean or not, by the way I look at the cutting board. You can see cooks then have a cutting board full of the stuff they've been cooking for the last two or three hours. Or you can see the organized chef. He cleans, start with the next ingredient. It's so much nicer to start with a clean cutting board. You don't have leftover rosemary that's going to fall in your roasted beets, for instance. That's very important. for Little details, but they are so important. Involve others in your cooking, family and friends. Everybody should have fun. Cooking is fun. Turn on some music. Have some wine. This system is very simple. It just requires discipline. You must follow it in order to be successful. You have to be disciplined. You got to plan the recipe. You got to shop with that list. You should only go to the grocery store for dry goods only one time a week. If that much, you may be able to skip because you have enough in the pantry. Success means never again will you wonder what to cook for dinner. Very simple. Remember, you can never find yourself at the grocery store wondering, oh, mama me, what am I going to cook? All right? Now, another thing also, friends. Do not forget that cooking can be fun and rewarding activity for everyone, regardless of the skill level or the experience. Anyone can cook. I said it a million times, and I'm saying it again. All you have to do is be a little organized, get a little knife skill. It's not that complicated. Friends. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Remember, be disciplined and you'll be such a better cook. I promise you. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching.